In this age of digital decadence, where mind-numbing clickbait is regurgitated by the terabytes and the rapid flickering of pixelated images seems poised to entirely overtake our collective cognitive abilities, there emerges a beacon of thoughtful, tactile deliberation. It's none other than the YouTube phenomenon, James Townsend and Sons, and what a serendipitous discovery it has been in the vast wasteland of social media's trivialities to find a corner dedicated to the nourishment of both the stomach and the mind. Consider for a moment the sheer audacity of such an endeavour. A channel deliberately unhurried, reviving forgotten culinary treasures from the pages of history, providing a gastronomic bridge between epochs. It invites the modern viewer to embark on a temporal voyage, one where tastes, textures and tales of the past can be relived, reimagined and most crucially, respected. It is an antithesis to the instant culture we find ourselves imprisoned within. The narrative espoused by the Townsends and their dedicated team is nothing short of a historiographical revolution. While others might frivolously regard the 18th century as a time of powdered wigs and stifling corsets, both true and with their own merits, the channel reveals a deeper truth. It delves into the very fabric of daily life, unveiling a mosaic of humanity bound together by the most elemental of rituals, the act of breaking bread. The recipes with their exquisite array of flavours, some hearty, others delicate, speak to an era when food was more than mere sustenance. It was an art, an expression, a testament to mankind's ceaseless endeavour to elevate the banal to the sublime. How refreshing it is, then, to witness Mr Townsend Jr. with his colonial attire and unpretentious demeanour guide us through these culinary landscapes with the earnestness of a scholar and the passion of a gourmand. As one who has been known to spare neither rod nor opinion, I found a certain solace in the inoffensive nature of the content. In an age where creators often stoop to scandal and sensationalism to procure those ever-elusive clicks, James Townsend and Sons sails gracefully above the fray. Its commitment to education, preservation and, let's admit, a dash of recreation stands in stark contrast to the tawdry distractions that so often command our screens. It is not merely the authenticity of the recipes that captivates, but the dedication to the craft. The meticulous attention to detail, from the tools employed to the very ingredients sourced, speaks to a profound respect for history. This is not mere play-acting or an attempt to indulge in nostalgic escapism, but rather a serious endeavour to bridge the chasm of time, to ensure that the lessons, lore and, yes, flavours of the past aren't consigned to oblivion. And then there's the sheer pleasure almost hedonistic in its intensity, derived from watching these dishes come to life. The bubbling of a pot, the sizzle of meat on open flame, the aroma, imagined alas, until technology catches up, wafting through one's senses. It's an experience both visceral and vicarious. And it's one that challenges the modern notion of convenience as the highest culinary ideal. In this expanse of digital deluge, the town's ends offers a sanctuary. It's a reminder that, in our relentless march forward, there's merit in pausing, glancing back, and savouring the wisdom and wonders of those who came before us. So, dear readers, as one who has seldom shied away from the provocations of debate or the heady thrills of intellectual combat, I find myself oddly, delightfully disarmed by the charms of this channel. It's a testament to the power of earnestness, of passion, and the timeless allure of a well-cooked meal. To the Townsends and their indomitable crew, I tip my hat and raise my glass. Cheers.